Hi, this video tutorial will show you how to make icons in the MP6 style for the new WordPress dashboard. So you, I've got a little file here. This is just a preview. Uh, you'll be able to download it from the uh, video notes. Um, but you can see I've got a placeholder for my plugin. And uh, let's just adjust this. Um, so these other icons on the left are the standard ones that are built into the dash icons icon font. So you're going to want your plugin icon to family with those. Um, so there's just a couple things you should do to make sure that happens. Uh, first of all, if we zoom way in on it, you should see that the uh, edges of the icons are very crisp. And you want to avoid edges that are somewhat fuzzy, which will happen if your vectors are not aligned with the pixel grid. The way we make sure this happens in Photoshop Preferences, Guides and Grid, and slices. Um, we're going to set a grid line every 10 pixels with 10 subdivisions. This will be good for our 20 pixel by 20 pixel canvas size that we want to make sure that our icons fit within. All the dash icons are set on a 20 by 20 pixel grid. So as long as you're inside that, uh, that size, your icons will look good. So let's click OK and I'm going to go View, Show, uh, show Grid. And that's going to show me the grid here. Um, if you might want to move this grid over a little bit so that the uh, other icons are centered within it. So I'm just going to go to View, Show Rulers. And I'm going to start the um, left and right, or the top uh, X and Y axis for the grid so that it's over a little bit. Let's move that a little more. Now I've centered one of the other dash icons in that 10 by 10 or 20 by 20 pixel grid, and now I'm going to work my icon right in this one here. So I'll just design a quick icon. I'll make a lock, and um, starting with a rounded rectangle, I'm just going to click and draw, drag. Newer versions of Photoshop let you change the uh, corner radius, so I'll make it a tighter corner radius. Um, also make sure that you're choosing view snap to grid. If you don't do that you might get those fuzzy edges showing up. Uh, next I'm going to adjust the borders of my uh, edges of my lock. I just use the direct selection tool and drag the little rectangle to be able to nudge one of those paths a little bit. Now as I'm doing this it's helpful to see it at full size so you can go to view uh, window arrange tile all vertically I'm sorry, window, arrange, um, arrange new window for preview. And now I'm going to hide the grid on this one. And now I'll go to window, arrange, tile all vertically. So now you'll see that I've got on the left here the um, full zoomed in version and on the right the full size version. And uh, I'm just going to zoom in. I like working at 1600% when I'm doing these I find that I can move the uh, points a little bit more with more precision um, at that setting so it's fit and it's also helpful to be able to see the icon over there alright so let's just move it over a tiny bit and uh, we'll just draw the top make another rounded rectangle now I'm going to add to selection here combine shapes before I do that though I make I need to make sure that there's nothing selected you can see these points are selected so I'm going to hit Escape, and now I'll choose Combine Shapes. I'll draw another rounded rectangle. So I've got my um, top of my lock showing up, but I need to make a hole in it to show the metal part. So let's do a Subtract. First hit Escape, and then Subtract Front Shape. We'll draw another rounded rectangle inside there. Now you can see that it's just subtracted out. And then last of all, hit Escape, Combine Shapes, and I'll draw a rectangle to fill in this gap here. Um, and if you notice, maybe it looks a little bit too high, so what I'll do is go in with the Selection tool, grab the points above, and just drop them down uh, a couple of pixels. I'm going to draw a keyhole in the middle, so let's hit Escape. We're going to draw a rounded rectangle, or an ellipse. And 
Oops, I didn't hit uh, subtract front shape. And then I'll draw one more little rectangle below, subtracting that out. Hit escape, rectangle, subtract front shape. Got that. And then I'll just draw that little part of the key. So there's my little lock icon. And it looks like the other ones. It has the same style. Um, also make sure it's the same color just so you can see it. So I can double click on the thumbnail and eyedropper the color from one of the other icons to make sure. And it looks like it's 999999. So that looks good. So when you're happy with it, you need to get it into Illustrator because I don't know an easy way to export an SVG from Photoshop. Uh, there might be plugins, but uh, what I usually do is just copy it to Illustrator. The other thing we'll be able to do is expand all these shapes that we drew. So back to the direct selection tool, drawing a rectangle around my path, and I'm going to copy and switch to Illustrator. Create a new file, and we're going to work with um, pixels here. So I'm change units to pixels. We'll make a 20 by 20 pixel file, and you should really be in RGB mode. That's, that matters too much, but we'll click OK. Same here. We want to be able to see our our grid. So if we go to View, Show Grid. Um, you should see a 10 pixel by 10 pixel or 20 yeah 10 pixel by 10 pixels with 10 subdivisions and the way you set that in Illustrator is Illustrator preferences guides and grid and under guides and grid we're going to change grid line every 10 pixels with 10 subdivisions and we hit paste command V as a compound shape so we've got to paste it in here but you notice that the um, pixels are not aligned to the pixel grid. It centered it in the page or it did something where it didn't quite block it and actually it wouldn't be centered. I don't know why Illustrator doesn't paste it in the middle and then I would be perfect but it doesn't. So if we fill this with black and we go to view um, pixel preview where the heck are you? There you are. You can see that this is what I was talking about before where those pixels that aren't aligned to the pixel grid get muted or um, anti-alias to 50%. So you just want to make sure that your shape is exactly on the pixel grid. I'm just going to nudge it over and uh, the other thing I'm going to do is just expand it to make it one solid shape and not a, a series of combined shapes. Okay, so at this point you're going to want to um, export it as an SVG file and we're going to go to File, Save As, SVG. So we'll just call it uh, icon.svg and then we'll save it. Alright, so that's how you'd make the SVG file. In terms of actually attaching it to your icon, you're going to have to um, follow the link that I post in order to uh, see how to do that. But uh, you want to be able to make it so that when you're plugin is installed, you see the icon showing up next to the label if that's how your plugin works. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful.